state and federal leaders are warning Hoosiers of a jury duty scam that demands a fine for missing your court date. It is a plot that has been around for more than a decade. 24 Hour News 8's Brenna Donnelly attended a press conference on this issue today and joins us now. So, Brenna, why is this back in the headlines? Well, there are a lot of reasons, Brooke and Phil. First off, it's the holidays and those gift cards that the scammers want you to buy and mm -hmm. then use to pay those fines, those are front and center mm. in the stores. And second off, Indiana's Southern District Court has recently received some startling pieces of mail from the victims themselves. A national scam. We are concerned. Making a chunk of change per person in the state of Indiana. Upwards of to 500, 1,000, 2,000. That's more than the average family spends on Christmas each year. And it's all about jury duty. Particularly involving this court, uh, where I'm the United States Attorney and I'm responsible for enforcing the federal law. It has increased recently, and so it has gotten my attention. So how are they getting people? It starts with a phone call. A scammer calls a victim and tells them they failed to appear for jury duty and that a warrant has been issued for their arrest. Yikes. While you're panicking about impending imprisonment, the scammer relents and says, I'll go easy on you. The victim is advised that they can pay the fine using a prepaid gift card. But you don't send the card to a suspicious P.O. box. They have you send it to the courthouse after reading off the card number over the phone for verification. The court received envelope after envelope of depleted gift cards. State officials insist if you're summoned for jury duty or given a notification of absence, it'll happen through the mail. The court will never call someone on the phone for failure to report for jury duty. So remember, while you may be summoned to serve on a jury, there's no actual call for duty. The chief district judge also provided some details on how often people really do miss a jury duty notification. She says they're very good at getting in touch with people and they haven't had to hold a hearing in years for someone who failed to appear. Okay, so I'm sure they are uh, working to catch these scammers. Right. Any updates on the investigations? Well, they won't reveal details on specific investigations. They do say that a lot of these scammers are overseas. That ah. makes it more difficult. But when they are able to prosecute, they said it's 20 years in federal prison for wire fraud. Wow. Pretty All big right. deal. 20 years. Big deal. Mm -hmm. Brenda, thank you. Mm -hmm.